got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha <laughs> ha. You're mad. Miss Wig, Miss Wig. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Miss Wig, Yana. So let's talk about this girl's trip, babe. Right? So, you know, we're going to Lake Norman, and I'm excited about that because I feel like I'm just going home. The Queen City. <laughs> Is everyone coming? I just want everybody to have a good time. Yes, everybody's, everybody's invited. Is Auntie coming because... Who's Auntie? Oh, Giselle. Yeah, she kicked yeah. y'all out oh, the... Oh, we talked. Uh, we got there at 8, but it takes forever for us to get out the car. You know yeah, that. Yeah, get out the car. Okay. Make sure the cameras are Giselle positioned. Giselle knows that, too. We well, were there probably before 8. It just takes us a while because you got to get everybody out and yeah. we got to check our mics and we got to do we got to do a little bit extra than the normal. Oh my God, girl, we're here. You know what I mean? So Giselle, you know, I'm going to give her, I'm going to have some compassion for my girl because I really do like Giselle, even though she has no compassion for me whatsoever <laughs> right now. This is going to be so much fun. We are in the Queen City. I want us to behave like queens. Yes. How are you doing? I'm going through a lot. My back is against the wall. And you know when it's legal, you can't talk about it. And I just try not to say that over and over again. Karen, it's on the internet. Huger is facing DUI charges tonight. Police tell us Huger was taken into custody just before midnight last night following a crash on Oakland Drive and Beeman Woods Way in Potomac. Police say it appears Huger drove across a median and then hit street signs. We did reach out to her management and we are still waiting for a response tonight. up to that part because I just feel like it's okay for you to say like I act up mm -hmm. and it's not okay to do what well, I did because it's not your first time. But... I'm not saying I effed up yet. I want okay. you to wait for that. Are are the legal issues behind you or have no, they been settled? No, that's just what I'm saying. It's very painful okay. to listen to that. Yeah. You know, and their accusations, mm -hmm. are you wishing me harm? Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I'm hoping to win. Yeah. Um, when it all comes out, but I have to respect the law. But when I can speak about it, I plan to be open and transparent. Okay. I'm not admitting anything. Okay. okay. No, I okay. want you to wait so we can talk about it. And this will show me who my real friends are. How challenging was it for you going into this season? Because we see you relive your tragic car accident. Was that tough for you at all, reliving that and sharing it with the ladies who are quick to judge without knowing your truth. No, thank you so much. And I, I really love you said that because if I listen to them, you know, I, I don't have a drinking problem, let's be very clear, but all of us have accidents. So it's still being adjudicated and I can't talk about it. Got back to me from my birthday party that Jack wanted to say the night before my party that I was on the phone drinking. Why aren't you on the group chat? Uh, that's what I was gonna ask y'all. I honestly feel like because I spoke up at the hat hateration party. Jacqueline, before you got there, said she had a whole lot of questions for you, but she didn't ask them. So mm. have you seen her? No, I mean, to be honest with you, Giselle, uh, Jacqueline's in timeout now. We talked and they had questions for me, but I told them I Ask me the questions, you. I'm here. Yeah. None of us saw what happened, so I don't feel like anybody should cast judgment. Exactly, we don't know. You once know, we hear what, about it, people are gonna judge. I feel like there has been low-key, like unspoken tension, competition between you and Jazzy. When we were on the plane, Jazzy says something about a side chick. It is in my name, so I income qualified to get the vehicle. Yeah. Did you help me put a down payment on it? Because you knew that at that moment, 
I was spending a lot of money to get out of this unhealthy relationship and you wanted to give me a cushion because you love me. She loves you. <laughs> so I was like, I just want clarity. Right, go Like, because who's buying the car? Is this Gordon buying you a car? Like, like what's going on here? You driving a Porsche, right? Uh-huh. So I'm thinking, me done bought your car. Her car is in her name, yes. What's that? Um, I just visited Giselle. Mia and Jacqueline got to drinking. Uh-huh. And I've said I'd never hold anything back from you, so. Yeah. She was too happy to tell me that you and Jacqueline, she peeped you all showering nude together. Where were you in Miami? Were I you in the same in house? in my room where I should be. I mean, that's fine if that's what y'all want to do, but we're going to ask questions. They're in the window. Yes. They want to be seen. So you and... Jacqueline showered together. Yes, me too. Okay, so it's something you enjoy. Mia did talk about the fact that, you know, she allowed Jacqueline to have sex with one of her boyfriends years ago, and Mia wanted to watch. You kissed? Mm, no. You fondled? A little bit, yeah. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought I wanted to be a gynecologist, so I was like checking cervix and stuff. Oh, you went into the JJ. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> so I just want right. to explain that. She was like, can you just look in there and see what's going on in there? Was she itching or something? I wanted to make sure it was all good. I had a flashlight and everything. You looked inside? <laughs> I wanted to go get some tongs, too, because that's what I saw. <laughs> Where's your sidekick? That's what I heard. Sidekick? Right. She's it, calling you a sidekick? She's calling me Mia's sidekick. There's okay. no comparison between myself and Jazzy. No offense. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, I am Jazzy Rideau, as you guys introduced me. And, you know, I'm a small town girl. I'm actually from Muskogee, Oklahoma. And um, prior to leaving Muskogee, I decided to head off to Langston University, where I have a degree in broadcast journalism. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, I did a bit of, you know, field anchoring for just a small stint. And then once my news station sold, I thought, I'm going to be a flight attendant because oh, I need yeah. to get out of Oklahoma. I need better opportunities. So fast forward, um, after a couple of spells in Houston and then San Francisco, I settled in the DMV area because it's like no other city I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. It gives me exactly what I need. It gives me all the balance, all the big city. And if you want to, you know, travel out a little ways, you can also get that country feel that I grew up on in yes. Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So I love the DMV area. Actually, I was making a joke and telling Mia that we expect her to have a great lake house trip because this year she has an even better sidekick. And like, that doesn't okay, bother it. you to call No, it doesn't bother me. I said it as a joke because I know people right. know I'm not a sidekick. Period. So that's well, okay. Well, it Where is this heat coming from? Because really really Jazzy is cool. So, have a good trip and oh, this is work? Have a good trip. Okay. How are you feeling about this season? And are you like, bring on the reunion? I've got some things to say. You know, I'm always like, bring on the reunion because I absolutely have some things to say. <laughs> I'm watching it and some of the scenes that I were not a part of, I'm like, are you, oh goodness, uh, I cannot wait for the reunion. However, I really enjoyed it. And the focus for me is coming together with these ladies, being able to give back to our communities, and the fundraising events, the charity events, mm -hmm. those things are what's most important. Right. The drama is gonna be great for fans and things like that, but in reality, Potomac is truly about giving back to the community and showing how women can get together and just for the better of everyone involved. But she gotta go to court when we get back. Are y'all going to go support her? <laughs> <laughs> Let's really laugh in this bitch because y'all are sitting there giggling at Miss Karen's DUI. And while, I mean, she is dead wrong for getting a DUI and driving potentially under the influence. I'm saying potentially because I don't want her coming to my ass and cutting a check from me saying, bitch, I wasn't under the influence. I don't know what you was, but your ass was hitting trees, allegedly. Anyways, Mia, you should be focused on your own ghetto-ass storyline, your Zeus storyline of you questioning your child's paternity. You should be focusing on your child's mental health as they're going to have to see this when they get older or now. And again, I'm not a mother, so I'm not trying to mom shame you, but I'm just saying you're not really showing us what a good mother is by questioning who this child's father is on TV so he now has to see this and maybe get made fun of. Okay, I'm not admitting anything. Okay, okay, no, I okay. want you to wait so we can talk about it. Karen, mother, you know I love you, but I feel like you should just own up to everything that's been going on due to you're going to lose this court case. And maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not a genie in this hoe, but, or not a genie, a fortune teller, a psychic. Yeah, I'm not Sloan Bella, but it's giving to me that you're not really going to win this case as you tried to get this case thrown out, but the judge denied that. 
He said that the cop didn't read you your Miranda rights. If that's true, I feel bad, but does that really take away from you driving under the influence, allegedly, having a first class trip into trees, potentially killing yourself and others? Yeah. Like I said, it would look better now if you took accountability and just owned up to it and just faced whatever was coming towards you due to your actions. I don't know. Where's your sidekick? That's what I heard. Sidekick? Right. She's it, calling you a sidekick? She's calling me me a sidekick. There's okay. no comparison between myself and Jazzy. No offense. Ooh, Jacqueline, girl. You better throw your shade. But, like, what's going on here? Is this, like, some who can lick Mia's kitty the best competition in this hoe? What are y'all beefing about for real? Aren't y'all supposed to be friends anyways as didn't Mia bring both of y'all onto the scene? Don't y'all know each other already? Or are y'all arguing for clicks and views and shit? What's going on here? Maybe I shouldn't be a conspiracy theorist in here, but Mia, or not Mia, hold on. Wrong clown. Jacqueline, I really wouldn't be comparing people's careers and so on due to all we know of you is licking upon Mia's nodding. Actually, I was making a joke and telling Mia that we expect her to have a great lake house trip because this year she has an even better sidekick. And like, that doesn't okay, bother it. you to call No, it doesn't bother me. I said it as a joke because I know people right. know I'm not a sidekick. Period. So, That's okay, okay then. Then. Where is this heat coming from? Know. Like I said, this is not America's Next Stop. Who can lick Mia's kitty the best? Go on somewhere else with that shit. I don't want to see another season of another Menage a Trois type storyline. Even though it's not giving that, hopefully, from you, Miss Jazzy. But so far, I like you. <laughs>